Good evening, everyone. Um, Aldous Valor here again. Uh, this is a video response to Stephanie Rose 88. Um, and to my fans and subscribers, this is my last one tonight, I promise. Um, the uh, Christian atheist debate. The, the way atheists look at it is that, yeah, there isn't any proof. The only proof that you have of God's existence is, well, the Bible says so. And while we're um, quoting chapter and verse here, <clears throat> I, I have a few uh, scriptures that you ought to read, too. Because the Bible says God is real, but um, what else does the Bible say? Uh, we're going to start with Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verses 12 and 13. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all of their heart and with all of their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Uh, the next one I have for you is... Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities See these are some of the rules in in the Bible that I just This is another reason why I'm an atheist not because there isn't any proof It's just that the rules that they set forth in this book are ridiculous and before anybody jumps on my case I know those two verses or those three verses were from the Old Testament and I know Christians don't tend to follow the Old Testament anymore but uh, so let's go ahead and, and jump to um, Matthew chapter 5 verses 18 and 19 <clears throat> For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least into the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For my fans and subscribers who, um, don't speak Bible that basically says no we're not changing the uh, the rules of the Old Testament and if you look here um, this verse is in I, I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting situation but this these are all in red letterings which means Jesus said that and and finally here's one of my favorite um, one of my favorite quotes from Jesus. This is uh, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 34 through 37. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. That doesn't sound very nice to me, you know, the sort of thing that I'm, I'd am i want to look forward to, you know, as a Christian. Um, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So basically, this book is saying that a great majority of people are going to be condemned to hell and that a very small minority are going to be ushered into the kingdom of heaven to forever worship God. To say the truth, I would rather not exist than go to hell, but at the same time, I would rather not exist than go to heaven. This has been Aldous Valor, the Judgmental Asshole. Yeah.